guys, my name is Chloe and I'm a primate keeper here at Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what my department's day looks like and who our primates are. I'll also be explaining what it's like to work with primates and what we consider when making their enrichment diets and training them. A little background about me is that I've been working as a zookeeper for over six years now. I have a degree in biology from James Madison University. I have worked with a wide variety of species, everything from ungulates to birds to reptiles but I love working with primates the most. They are such a fun group of animals to work with and this job is very rewarding. So what are primates? Well, primates are an incredibly diverse group of mammals. There are over 300 different species of primates, which include lemurs, tarsiers, monkeys, apes, and even humans. Even though there are so many differences between primate groups, they all have anatomical features and characteristics characteristics which reflect their common ancestry. Here at Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo, we have a wide variety of primates. These include our common marmosets, cotton-top tamarins, squirrel monkeys, coppery tsetse, white-throated capuchins, spider monkeys, ring-tailed, brown, and rough lemurs and hamadreus baboons. All of these species have different requirements when it comes to their care. What works for one may not for the other. So first thing that we do at the beginning of the day is we get visuals on all of our animals. That means we walk the whole facility and check to make sure that they are all doing okay. Doing this check is important because we may not be able to get to a certain enclosure for a few hours, and it is our responsibility to make sure all of our animals are happy and healthy. Then we go back to our keeper area and commissary. We gather all of our diets for the animals, our enrichment, tools, and cleaning supplies, and medications if our animals need them. We then set up our cart and we get to head out to all of our enclosures. So what do we do when we get to one of our enclosures? Well, that means that it's time for us to feed and clean. Some of our animals we can go in with free contact. Others we have to shift into their houses in order to make it safe for us and them. We do not go in with any of our capuchins or our baboons. We shift them and make sure that they are secured in their houses before entering their enclosure. Once we can go into the enclosure, we are checking if there are any holes or maintenance issues that it may have. It is our responsibility to fix these issues and make sure that everything is safe for them. Then we get to clean. A big part of our job is cleaning. Primates especially are very messy, so there's always a ton of cleaning to do. We deep clean our enclosures a few times a week and make sure that we sanitize everything fully. This ensures that the primates stay happy and healthy. While cleaning, it's important to keep our eyes out for anything strange that we may see. A kind of gross part of our job involves looking at our animal's poop. Weird fecals may be the first sign our primates aren't feeling well, so we always have to look out for that. Next, we give out our food and enrichment. This is probably the primate's favorite part of the day. I always enjoy seeing what they choose to eat out of their diet first and see their reactions to their enrichment. The whole time we are servicing an enclosure, it is important to monitor the behavior of all of our animals. Since we work with them every single day, we know how they will typically act. Each of them has their complete own unique personality. So if one is acting strange, it's very easy to tell. Reading their behavior is absolutely key to being able to effectively work with primates. So the rest of the day. After servicing all of our enclosures, we go on to make diets for the next day. Then we hopefully have time to work on any projects that we may have. This may include making new enrichment, putting up perching in an enclosure, or even landscaping some of our areas. We also spend time keeping records for any of our animals or anything that we have done that day. This can be anything that we cleaned, enrichment that we gave out, or anything unusual that happened with an animal. These records help us learn our animals better and allow us to be better keepers. Lastly in our day, we go back around to all of our enclosures and give out our PM diets. Our PM diets are usually some kind of dry biscuit diet that has a lot of good nutrients in them formulated just for primates. We also may give out protein options and more enrichment as we go around. This is our final check on the animals for that day and gives us the opportunity to see them one last time. So that's pretty much what one of our days in the primate department looks like. Now I'd like to briefly discuss what we kind of consider and what we do when making our diets or enrichment for our animals. Okay, so enrichment. What is enrichment? Well, enrichment is an incredibly important part of our animals' lives. It can be anything that simulates their mind, encourages them to use their natural behaviors, and occupies their time. When making enrichment, we 
consider not only the species of primate, but the individual as well. The enrichment we give to our marmosets is definitely probably not gonna be the same that we're gonna give to our spider monkeys. With primates, taking their natural behaviors into consideration is important when making their enrichment. Many of our primate species would spend the majority of their time in the wild foraging for food, so enrichment we give them should encourage them to spend their day foraging. This can be done by scattering the food around their enclosure, which we often do for their baboons, or we can put their food into puzzle feeders. There are a lot of options and we always get to use our creativity when coming up with new ways to enrich their lives. Primates also love being destructive, especially our capuchins, so we like to give them things that they can manipulate or just destroy. We are also monitoring and ensuring our enrichment is 100% safe for our animals. Any new enrichment that we have to give to an animal has to be approved first, and then we want to monitor how our animals are going to react to it, making sure that they're safe is our top priority. So training. <laughs> Training with our animals is another very important part of being a keeper. We don't ever make our animals do anything that they don't want to do, and all of our training behaviors are meant to provide mental stimulation for our animals and give us, allow us to give them the best care that we can. Training also allows us to build better relationships with the animals and reduce stress for them. We always use positive reinforcement training, which means we reinforce a certain behavior to make it more likely that the behavior is going to occur again. This typically involves using an item of high reward, such as grapes, that the animal is gonna really enjoy. Some behaviors that we like to train for may be target training, stationing, training the animal to go on a scale so we can get a weight or presenting certain body parts, like a foot or an ear so we can get an up close look. On to diets. Making specialized diets is a very important part to keeping our animals healthy. Primates require a large amount of variation when it comes to the foods that they eat. We have diet sheets that lay out exactly what they should get on certain days so we can ensure that they are gonna get all of that variety. We have to cut our food taking the size of the animal into consideration. So our tamarins get their food cut up into smaller pieces than say our capuchins, which can get much larger pieces of food. Some of our primates, like our baboons and our spider monkeys, we give an array of different colored produce every day because it is important to encourage them to forage for those different color options. The diets vary by species and also by individual. So they all consist of fruit and vegetables. Some get added protein like eggs, insects, or meat. And some of our older primates and small primates even get cooked vegetables in their diets. So lastly, a very important part of our job as being a keeper is educating. We do this through keeper chats that we may have at specific times of the day where we get to talk in front of a certain animal and talk about them, but we also do this from just talking to guests that we happen to see throughout the park. Being able to tell people why these animals are so important is amazing. We help to inspire guests to want to protect them and learn about these species when they come and they visit us. When talking about primates, I always like to discuss conservation initiatives for those specific primates and how they guess can help protect these primate species in the wild. And I also like to mention that primates do not make good pets and try to change people's overall perception of them. So in conclusion, my day as a primate keeper is packed full and I definitely never run out of things to do. Taking care of all of our primates is a lot of hard work, but it is an incredibly rewarding job and I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for everybody for supporting Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo. Your support allows us to continue to give the best care possible to all of our animals.